Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Data Pinch, a series of bite-sized videos on all things data, so that you can start your week with a pinch of data. My name is Varvara, and I work in business development and data consulting here at Y42. For today's video, I'd like to touch upon a pain that a lot of you working with big data sets might relate to having to constantly check if your data sources, integrations, and models are up to date. This can result in you having to schedule constant updates or even having to manually refresh the data to get the latest input. And if you forget to do this once, you might end up delivering reports with all data, producing the wrong insights. You don't want that, do you? But there must be a solution out there to alleviate this pain, right? Well, have you ever heard of data orchestration? Simply put, data orchestration is a process that allows you to coordinate and automate your data workflows. You can choose which parts of your data pipeline you want to keep automatically up to date and then set up a schedule once and never worry about doing things manually again. So data orchestration saves you time and energy, allows you to have more control over your data pipeline and a better overview of what is happening to your data. This overview also allows you to easily spot errors in your pipeline instead of spending hours fixing and maintaining it. How does data orchestration actually work then? Well, data orchestration systems make use of DAGs, which are directed acyclic graphs. But what does this mean? Basically, a DAG is a collection of all the tasks you would like to run, organized in a way that reflects their relationships and dependencies to each other. Therefore, a DAG describes how you want to carry out your data workflow. A great example of how to orchestrate your data is the orchestration function in Y42. You just select which integrations and models or experts you'd like to automate, schedule their running time every minute, hour, day, whatever suits your data needs. And in a few minutes, you're good to go. You can then always take a look at your DAGs and see when the updates ran and for how long. Automating your data pipelines can really be that simple. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.